way that parents can support their kids playing a sport? You know, I think the biggest thing is is knowing what their kids want to accomplish with their sport and, and being in alignment with that. I think a lot of times as adults, you know, we bring 30 or 40 years of experience um, to, to the equation and that, that can be really helpful, but it also can really work against kids because, you know, the research shows that kids want something different. They want to have fun and, and be with their friends and all those things. Adults want to win. Those, man, you're the, you're just, you're going to be like this. So make sure you know what your kid wants out of the situation and then do whatever you can to support them in that and, and be comfortable with the fact that they're probably going to want something different than you do from that situation. And they're probably going to approach the situation differently than you do. Or I, did, right? I, uh, I had to learn that with, with my son in that we're two very different people. We, we, we look very similar and we have similar builds and, and, and all of that, but he approaches things very differently than I do. And it took me a long time to kind of figure that out uh, as, as his parent and as his coach of, okay, he is paying attention. He is taking this seriously. He's just doing it differently than I am. And once I, once I did that, I was a better parent and I was a better coach uh, of him and that kind of letting him be him. What are some of the most common mistakes that parents make um, with their kids in regards to sports participation that you've seen? They expect too much too soon that, um, you know, you get parents that by the time a kid is eight years old, they've already kind of got it mapped out, you know, which high school they're going to go to, which coach they're going to play for, what pro they're going to take lessons from, and then what college the kid is going to go to and have the scholarship and, you know, what pro team they want him ultimately to play for. And gosh, just sit back and let the kid enjoy his game or her game for a while. Right. Um, you know, my, my son is a is a sophomore in high school, and it's only about now that I've really started even talking to him too much in, in any detail about college programs and if he wants to play in college. I mean, he's always kind of had that desire, I think, because because I did. Yeah. Um, you know that he he wants to kind of he, I think he feels uh, that he he wants to do that, and he, and he may have the ability to do that, but. I've, I've tried to resist the urge even when he was, you know, entering high school and, oh my gosh, you know, he's he's one of the better players at this age group or he's not or whatever. It is. That will all take care of itself. And, and you know, high school is, is four years long. Um, and I think we make, we, we place too much emphasis as, as parents and as adults on the things that happen before they get to high school. That if, you know, if they don't play for this coach, if they don't take these lessons, they don't play in this league, then they're not going to have these opportunities. And as, as a high school coach that, you know, works with the freshmen and sophomores that, you know, are entering in the program, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. They're, they're not done growing, you know, physically or emotionally or intellectually. There's a lot of growth that happens, you know, in those early years of high school. And that's really what's going to determine um, a, a lot of their progress and ultimately where they, where they plateau. So parents need to just back off and, and let them enjoy the game. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.